Good morning, everyone. The book of Daniel, our first reading, is apocalyptic in, in its literary style, just like Revelation, last book of the Bible. There's many symbols and images for us to mull over. One pair of symbols and imagery are the holy ones of God coming into their kingship or kingdom. And it's an analogy for the saints and heaven. But what does heaven look like? What is, the, what is this heavenly existence that we're gonna hopefully come into in our own lives after, after we pass? Our faith tells us that we will find everything appears new and young. The old universe will seem to have vanished like a scroll that is rolled up. And when Christ returns at his second coming, those in heaven will be re reunited with their transfigured bodies. And still, heaven will not be a complete surprise to us. After all, it is the one thing we all long for in the deepest parts of our souls. Interestingly enough, this happiness that we experience with God in heaven will not override our personal relationships. There in heaven, we will find all authentic human love, the love between spouses, the love between parents and children. We'll find old friendships. We will find family relations. We'll find old military friends that we haven't spoken to in years. We will find all authentic human love in heaven. As the years go by, we find that more and more of our loved ones are now on the other side of that great chasm. This knowledge might be a source of fear for some of us, but it can also be a source of joy. This joy is only possible though if we believe that death is the door to our true home that it leads to our definitive homeland, which is inhabited by all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. Our common homeland is not a forbidding tomb, but the bosom of the Lord. While we are here on this earth, we find it quite difficult to imagine what heaven will be like. The Old Testament compares our condition in heaven to that of the promised land. The prophet Isaiah uh, talks about this, this experience as, they shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall smite them. For he who has pity on them will lead them and by springs of water will guide them. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, Jesus frequently spoke of the incredible happiness that lies in stores for us if we are faithful. So let us take to heart the gospel today, to be vigilant at all times and pray that we have the strength to stand before the Son of Man when he comes, because the fullness of love awaits us.